Hi guys, welcome to Deep Junk Garage. This time we're going to tackle an IROC Z, but it's not just any IROC Z. This is my wife's IROC Z. We got a 85 Camaro IROC Z made by Matchbox. This thing has got the goofiest striping on it. Um, and in case you don't remember what you're driving, IROC is on each side and on the hood. Yellow is not my color, and I don't think it's my wife's color either. This car was given to her by her parents when she asked for a new Camaro to drive. They said this would be about as close as she'd get. Uh, it was then handed down to her nephew who played with it and uh, left the battle scars on it. Uh, it is solid, the glass is scratched minor, the wheels are straight, the body's good, the hope hood opens and closes nice. Underside, we got what three posts under there. It's clean. We've got under the hood a tune port injected V8. Around back, we've got regular bumps and bruises, nothing big. So we'll dig into it, get it stripped down, and see what we have to work with. And just a quick look before we go to stripper. We have the car apart. We had uh, three posts in the uh, base, and then a couple which had to come out for the hood to get it off the hinge piece there. Um, everything looks pretty good. We've got our basic matchbox suspension on a metal base. Interior is in good shape, nice and clean. The glass needs a little buffing, but not too bad. All in all, it's in pretty good shape. We'll know when we get the paint off the body how that looks. Is you know how that that paint will hide a lot of stuff. We'll find out. Okay, we got the Camaro out of stripper, and there was a lot of yellow paint holding on, a lot of it, and the cracks, but door jams. Uh, around the uh, bottoms of the fenders, up under the hood, around those tail lights, uh, under the hood. There's still a little bit hanging around in numbers under there. Let's get that off. Um, so out of the stripper, I mean, it got everything off the flat surfaces. It was just in all the the uh, hard to get spots. So there's probably another hour and the cleaning all that and then cleaning the body up. Uh, do go over it one more time, finish up the underside of the hood and then it's on to paint. Um, I've got uh, a special wheel and tire picked out for it to make sure that it works and nothing clear or rubs and everything clears. Let's see what happens. Just one quick moment before uh, I send this off to paint. Um, I wanted to show it, uh, mock it up and show it in its new shoes. Look a lot better than the wheels that come on it. I like the stance. Get some color on it and get it all together. It should look pretty good. Alrighty, while the Camaro is in paint, I thought I'd uh, show you the chassis. Um, the wheels that I had on a mock-up are in. Um, they're just held down with a metal suspension tab uh, that was factory in the car. So we got our new new wheel riders, new shoes. And underneath here, I just started picking out some detail. The uh, exhaust and transmission. I'll probably do look there. It's a little bit of oil pan showing, so I'll probably do that. But it was in good shape, the black, factory black on the chassis, so I just left it alone. Coming along nice. Yeah, it rolls real nice. Just like it should. Alright guys, you know I'm checking out the chassis of the Camaro and it, it was just lacking something. Uh, so I got out a little plastic tube and cut it off. My pin vise out and I thought, this thing needs some tailpipes. It's got all that exhaust run back there, but no tailpipe. 
So I bent up a couple little pieces of uh, round styrene and used the pin vise. I'll got the ends of it. I know to give us a nice finished look under there. Alrighty, I'm gonna unveil the Camaro here. Uh, our 1985 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z. Uh, 1985 was the first year for the IROC. It was a added on package to the Z28. Um, the highest horsepower motor that year would have been a uh, tune port injected 5 liter which this one seems to have. It's the tune port uh, upper and the runners and then it would have been uh, would have edge about 215 horse not very much 275 I think foot pounds of torque so it wasn't the big you know speed demon but it's what we had you know, so we made do this car uh, the blue that's uh, on it is uh, the same blue you'll probably notice it from the 69 Corvette that I did a couple videos back um, I don't really like to use the same color as a bunch I like to mix it up but this being for my wife it was uh, one of her favorite colors and the other being purple and there's no way in hell I'm painting the Camaro purple so blue it is um, got our mag wheels and real riders from a donor car the same gray that was on the interior just cleaned up not a whole lot done in there um, under the hood we've got our tune port injection motor it is we can get in here and take a look the uh, see the upper the upper intake the runners get the alternator uh, some of that other stuff's kind of hard to see the uh, hoses and that Get that. Our front, the headlights in chrome, uh, chrome pen, and the uh, the insets in black. Little uh, <clears throat> turn signal amber on the front lights and the side markers. We got uh, out back. Uh, these tailpipes, <clears throat> these tailpipes may go yet. Jerry's still out on that. Um, I wanted something back there um, and seemed to be okay until I got up on the car and looking at it now so they seem a little a little too shotgunish to me uh, but I'll sleep on it and see how I feel tomorrow the underside is just mainly uh, transmission drive line that's got the exhaust so it just seemed like it needed some tailpipes with them mufflers hanging back there and no uh, no tailpipes uh, body was pretty straightforward. Uh, stripped that yellow garbage off with them stripes that came right off. Body was pretty clean. Uh, not a whole lot of uh, body work to do. Uh, just cleaned out all the uh, cracks around the doors and stuff just to open everything up and uh, shot that blue on there. So that's, uh, that's it. This is for Mrs. Regular Bob. Her 1985 Camaro. Thank you for tuning in and checking it out. Um, everybody who subscribed and, and stopping by, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, we'll catch you in the next one.